got a pretty interesting kind of geometry problem that we're going to solve with calculus today. So what's our setup? So let's suppose we have a bowl which is in the shape of a hemisphere. So that's a half sphere. This bowl has radius r and it's filled with water to a height of h. And our goal is to determine the volume of the water in this hemispheric bowl in terms of this radius capital R and the height or the depth of the water H. Okay, so maybe how might we do this? So keeping in mind that we're going to use calculus, we can calculate this volume by finding the area of some sort of slice of this picture. So let's say there's a slice of this picture and let's say this slice is at height x. And then integrating the area of this slice from x equals 0 all the way to x equals h. Okay, but in order to find the area of this slice, we really need to know its radius. So let's calculate its radius in terms of x. We need to sketch up another little picture here just to get started. So let's say that's our hemisphere. So just as before, this hemisphere has radius capital R, but now we're going to put something in here with height x. And like I pointed out before, what we want to calculate is this radius here, r of x. So one easy mistake to make when calculating this radius here that depends on our height x is to sort of complete it downwards when in fact we want to complete it upwards using a triangle. And so let's get that triangle into the picture right now. So that it'll have a height like this, or maybe kind of one leg will be like this. Another leg will be this length r here that we're interested in. And then fi finally, the hypotenuse will go from this point here to this point here. So it'll go something like that. And that might seem not super useful, but we in fact know lots of those measurements already. So this measurement right here is capital R, given we're going from the center of the sphere to a point on the sphere. This point right here is our capital R minus X, given that if we extend this all the way up to our plane up here, this plane up here is kind of in the center of the sphere. But notice that gives us a right triangle that we can use the Pythagorean theorem with in order to calculate R of X in terms of capital R and X. And that'll be helpful. Okay, so in particular, we have R of X squared plus R minus X squared equals capital R squared. So like I said, that's the Pythagorean theorem. Now, putting some things together, that gives us r of x squared equals r squared minus r minus x squared. But let's see, that's going to, in the end, give us um, 2rx minus x squared after we multiply out that r minus x quantity squared and then simplify some things. Okay, so now let's maybe bring this r of x squared down and we'll hold on to this for a little bit. So as we discussed before, this r of x squared is going to be this radius of this slice. And so in order to find our complete volume, we will take the area of this slice and then integrate that from the top to the bottom. So in other words, our volume will be equal to the integral from 0 to h of the area of our slice. And then it'll be dx. So like I said, x is going from 0 to h. And so this is a standard maybe trick from a second semester calculus class. Okay, so let's see what that gives us. That'll give us 0 to h, the integral. But then this slice is a circle of radius r of x. So let's point that out. So this is a circle with a radius, like I said, r of x, which we calculated over there. And we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. 
So that means we have this is going to be pi, and then we have r squared here, so that'll be 2rx minus x squared. But now we can pretty much finish this thing off with the fundamental theorem of calculus. So this will give us pi, and then times, let's see, integrating this will give us rx squared minus 1 third x cubed. We need to evaluate that from 0 to h. So in the end, we'll have pi rh squared minus pi over 3h cubed. And that's the volume of this region right here. So let's point that out. So our volume has been calculated. Pi r h squared minus pi over 3 h cubed. And now before I leave you guys, I'm going to set up a follow-up video that builds off of this result. But I need to clean up the board first. So I think a nice follow-up to this problem would be to find the value of h, which will fill the bowl to half the total volume. So let's maybe set that up and then we'll solve it in an upcoming video. So we're going to start with the volume of a sphere. So let's write that down. So the volume of a sphere is v equals 4 over 3 pi capital R cubed. But that means that the volume of a hemisphere will be exactly half of that. So maybe I'll put a half here. So that'll be 2 over 3 pi r cubed. So in fact, what we want to do is fill this hemisphere up halfway. So that means we want to further take another half of this and set it equal to our calculated volume of it over there. So in other words, we want to solve the equation pi r h squared minus pi over 3 h cubed equals pi over 3 r cubed. So I divided that by 2 to take the 2 thirds to 1 third. And then we can divide both sides by pi, maybe also divide both sides by r cubed, and that gives us a little bit simpler of a cubic equation. So that'll give us h over capital R squared. So like I said, I divided both sides by r cubed as well, minus 1 third h over capital R cubed equals 1 third. So like I said, after dividing both sides by pi r cubed, we're given the following, which is a cubic equation in the variable h over r. And if you guys want to try solving this, maybe I think that would be a nice homework exercise. But we'll do it in an upcoming video, and that's a good place to stop. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the one that's on the screen right now. We handpicked it to go along really nicely with the one that you just watched. And also subscribe. Uh, if you want to.